It's new equipment time, and that's not only clubs, but it is golf balls. So let's check on my balls next that we just tested. <laughs> Welcome back to the Golf Shop. Jim McCleary here, and this is where we do golf club repairs, golf club reviews, and golf club fittings. All so your scores can go low. If you would, like, subscribe, hit that stuff across the bottom. That way more of this information gets out to the YouTube universe. Also, we have a live stream on Mondays at 5.30 p.m. or 17.30 Eastern Time, and it's a live stream version of exactly what we're talking about here. Come join us. You'll like it. We're on YouTube, Facebook, and now X as well. So, golf ball comparisons. I had to throw that out there. Uh, Wilson. Wilson normally is not in a topic of conversation when it comes to golf balls. Okay, They do have a golf ball. I think their most popular was probably is probably the Wilson Duo. Why? Because it's the softest one. They put a lot more marketing into it and of its cost, right? It's a little less expensive than, say, all the tour ball stuff that's out there. A uh, year before, it was the Triad, and you heard about the golfing ball, right? And the Triad was a nice ball. It is, uh, to me, when I tested it, it felt a little bit heavy coming off of the club. Now, I tested it against their, what was their current staff model, and the current staff model, or that last year, Went a little bit further, but its dispersion went just about everywhere where the triad was very, very narrow. All right, fast forward to this year. The duo and the triad are still in the family. However, they have completely redesigned the Wilson Staff line. Okay, now the Wilson Staff, you see some changing going on in their logoing in that, and I know that's probably going to be difficult to see. But uh, what you're going to see is that it's going to have the shield, but no uh, staff insignias on it, no lettering. So a little more universal. So you're going to see it, uh, the badge without the letters on it. Now you're going to have a model staff and a model staff X. All right. So if you get this one, there's the X. I know it's out of focus, but there it is. And I'll throw it up there on another picture. You can tell the difference because the staff ball has black letter and the X ball has a red letter, number, sorry, red number. All right, so what's the difference? How are these balls made? Well, they're both four-piece construction, okay, four-piece construction. They both have a, a new, we'll call it a high-tech core. They call it a V-core. And the one in the staff is going to be a mid-core or mid We'll call it a mid-firm core, where the X ball is going to be a firm core, all right? And then a four-piece after that. Now, in the X ball, they talk more about paint applications, about how the paint is very meticulously applied. They don't necessarily say it about this one, but they do say it about this one, okay? They're both four-piece. We got through that. Firmer core, softer core. Then you get into the, the, the skin of the golf ball, and the skin of the golf ball is they call it a 362. Now, it's kind of a play on words. It's 3SIX2, okay? So a 362 dimple pattern is what they're talking about. So what are they talking about when they talk about this? So when they talk about this, they're going to talk about, and I'll get it right off the box here. So you get, you get one of the boxes after it's been mashed. And it says, uh, feel will be mid. We talked about that one. Driver spin is going to be low. I don't know of anybody out there that's gonna say that they're gonna have a higher spin rate. Although, if you go to the website, it'll say that on the X. Uh, scoring irons is a higher spin rate and the green side is a highest spin rate. So basically, this is gonna be the ball if I, this is going to be the ball that should be competitive to a lot of the softer tour level balls. Okay, that's the way it, that's the way it's being, to me, marketed. Okay, now we go to the X ball. The X ball is the red numbered and it says it is a very firm feel. We talked about that. Uh, the driver spin is also low again, but there's a bit of a discrepancy. It says it's its highest spinning ball off the driver and off the iron on the website. 
So we'll have to see. The scoring iron now, the scoring irons went from high to highest. Very high spinning ball off the iron and then highest uh, when it comes to the the close to the wedges and stuff like that. So they both spin pretty good, which is cover oriented as I take and understand the golf ball manufacturing. And then after that, it's about how you manipulate the mantles that are inside the, the golf ball. All right, so we've talked about it enough. Now the real answer is let's go hit them. Welcome to the test of my two balls, my two golf balls, my two golfing balls, as they would have said earlier. And now that we got all the joking out of the way, what I am testing here is the Wilson Staff versus the Staff X. Now, as I just stated earlier, that the X ball is a more firmer ball at 104 compressions, where the Staff ball is right at 94 compressions, okay? And everything else about it is pretty much the same, the same outside, the, the, the layers, the core is what makes it different. So in order to see what was going on, they had divisions where it was uh, short side irons, regular irons, longer clubs, and drivers, right? So I figured, well, why not? So I tried a pitching wedge, a six iron, a four hybrid, and a driver. So let's go see how these worked out. Now, we're going to just look at a lot of the how the how the clubs flew first, and then we'll talk about what they ended up with. So here's the staff with the pitch and wedge, again, to my inside like I normally do. And then we got the X ball, which does this. In every case, what I did was I hit the staff first, and then I hit the staff X second. And I hit uh, six shots, of which we'll probably take one out, and then we'll go from there. And then we go to the... There we get there, the staff with the six iron, and we'll go there. And the six iron turned out to be a pretty decent little shot right there. Then the X ball, the X ball looks like that. And again, tight, but the other one was tighter. Okay, and then we go to the hybrid. The hybrid was like one of the worst clubs I hit to this time around. It was all over the map. And, but it got out there. There's the staff. And here's the staff X. This thing was just, it was a tail of two shots, right? Look at that. You can see it going right and going left. Definitely need to work on the hybrid swing, apparently. Then we go to the Wilson staff with the driver. Uh, not too bad. Uh, I don't know why it, it, I'm hitting this pull cut, but there it is. And then we go to the X ball, and this thing is all over the map, as you can tell. But let's go see what it really, really, really looked like. Okay, so now we've got that, the tail of the tail of the golf balls. So let's work our way up from, so as we can, obviously can see, is the pitch and wedge was the shortest, then the six, and the four hybrid, then the driver. So what's the difference here in the staff and the X? Well, literally one yard and carry, three yards in distance, uh, both out almost in the same spot. I swung a little bit faster, about two mile an hour, which could contribute to this. Um, and But I hit the staff ball a little bit better, a lot more spin. Uh, so the staff ball spun more than the X ball, which is supposed to, it's kind of opposite of what we were told, right? And then we look at it, and I was getting into the ball a little bit negative, but that is with the pitching wedge. Now, with the staff iron, or we'll call it the six staff iron, the six iron with the staff ball, they're virtually identical. They gave the nod to the X ball being a little higher because I believe in average there's probably a longer ball. I'm a little bit more to the right than I am with the staff ball. Swinging within, a, within an unappreciable amount, almost hit identically the same, and now in this case, by about 130 RPM, the X ball actually spun a little bit more, but it was within 130. I don't know if that's even noticeable or if you would even feel it. Everything was just about identical to that, so we'll have to see where they land. Now, here we go, as things start changing around. We get into the hybrid. The X ball is a little shorter by about three yards and about four yards. 
Now the staff ball is pulled a lot more on average inside where the X ball is a little straighter. Uh, hit them appreciable amount is about the same and with a half a mile an hour within each other and everything else is pretty much about the same. So I have to see how that lands. So the staff ball went a little bit more. Then we get into the driver. Now this is where I changed my methodology. I actually hit the X ball first and then hit the uh, staff ball second. And this is a massively different feel and change here. As we're looking, this is somewhere it was at uh, 16 yards and 11 yards difference. The staff ball is much straighter on average, and you're gonna, you, we saw that, whereas the uh, X ball is a little bit more to my right. Now, I did swing about two mile an hour faster, but hit them on average the same. All right, now the other part here is the higher spinny ball, the X ball, actually spun about 300 RPM less. Now, they're both pretty decent spin rates, particularly for me, but uh, it, you would think that the if the X ball was to be spinny, and they both say low, and but that's, you know, we're talking about 300 RPM. That's That could be very appreciable. Uh, I, I hit the, the staff ball a little bit higher than I did the X ball, which could contribute to the the carry distance, right? The way it's classified, I hit it straight versus hitting a fade. And my attack angle was actually plus, which is unique for me. I'm normally a down guy. So we're gonna have to work on that one a little bit. And uh, so there it is. So uh, kind of, you know, in the pitching wedge, nothing appreciable. Six iron, nothing appreciable. The four hybrid, it becomes a three, you know, three yards. Is that a is that a deal when you could switch them around? Maybe not. Then the driver, all of a sudden, it comes alive and it, it is a massively different uh, ball. So let's take a look at what it looks like for grouping. All right. So if we look here, this is the pitching wedge, and if we go to the pitching wedge, so there's the staff ball sitting right there, and nice long line here, and then I just nuked one. All right, and just started getting better. So basically the first five shots and then this starts waking up. Then I get to the X ball, it tends to, you know, I'm getting more loose, a uh, little bit neater, but it also has one that I nuke. So pretty decent. Then we get to the, uh, there we go. There's the Wilson staff with the six. I like that particular pattern, uh, a little bit tighter. And where the X ball is a little bit overall, I mean, it, it was a just virtually the same on average, but if we look at it, I like that pattern better than I like that pattern. Okay, so let's keep going. So there's the four hybrid with the staff. Most of them are over here, and I let one fade over the side. And the thing with the carry is, this is what I would expect out of a carry distance for them. So this must be me get warmed up versus that one. And then here it is again, a little bit further, and that one's normal, and then the rest of these guys are down that neck of the woods. So a few far ones, uh, but not necessarily as far on average as, say, that one. But I do have stuff to work on. All right, here's where things just go all kinds of sideways. All right, there's the, there's the staff ball, and I'm finding the middle. What kind of crap is that? I, yeah, I let one get off of here, but not too bad all in all. And then all of a sudden, the staff ball just turns into a dud. Uh, I'm not real sure. I think what that is is, I, again, in the same concept as the other ones, getting uh, warmed up, basically getting warmed up. And as you can see, I'm starting to pick up steam out here. Uh, but when we, and when we go there, uh, that's just night and day different, right? Night and day different. All right. So again, to go back to it, we're not going to labor the issue so much is that, okay, so the staff ball and in, in the comparison between the two, not too much in the pitching wedge, not too much in the irons, just a little bit different in the four hybrid and then into the staff or into the driver, it changes its name. All right, so let's go back and talk about this a little bit more. So that's kind of a different comparison, right? And normally when you see stuff like that, that an X ball, and what I tell folks is X ball is a little bit more of a spinny ball for those guys that are at a slower swing speed. And typically that's how it's advertised. And in this case, it's no different, right? So the X ball 
firmer core, they call it the V core, a unique core to give a little bit more energy to the, to the strike. Same thing could be said about the staff model, it's just not a firm center, it is a medium center. Outside of that, the rest of them should be the same, covers and all the other stuff. So, we see pitching wedge, six iron, pretty much identical, it comes down to feel and how do you like the dispersion. The four hybrid is a little bit longer, about three or four yards. If you're looking for distance, obviously that's the one to go, but my, <laughs> wow, do I need to work on my hybrid swing. Uh, the, and then the driver was a, was a tail of two different golf balls. The X ball just did not perform. I could not get that guy in the air. Now, it could have been, these was the first 12 driver swings of the year for me. And it, wow. And of course, I did get a little bit more oiled up. When it came to doing the, the second set of shots, and it shows. But overall, what, for a guy that you saw what I was swinging at in the mid-90s, that the staff ball itself was the way to go. It felt better, it operated better, and I think if you're going to do it, that's what you want to go do. So if you got any more questions like this, uh, just put them in the show notes below. And don't forget our live stream. And as always, let's see your scores go low.